Hello and welcome to another video. Appreciate the support. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're lurking, make sure you sub. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get into the news. We got the 2022 Honda Civic Type R. Um, and this is just somebody putting some stuff together. And yeah, so let's go. So this is what it looks like. So they take the same frame that uh, 2022 Honda Civic Sedan looks like. And then they tarp are it all up <laughs> that's not a word that is not a word so i'm assuming that honda is going to be using the two liter turbocharged engine for the 2022 type r maybe with a little bit of a uh, slight modifications giving it more power obviously more power is always good nobody's going to complain about that as you can see from the front side they took a little bit um inspiration from the 2021 civic um, type r so they still have this but who knows what honda is going to do um, if they're going to completely be gone with that aggressive styling, which I love the aggressive styling of the Type R. And it makes the, it makes this look a little bit better, doesn't it? It makes it look a lot better. <laughs> oh, that's just my opinion. Remember that. Everything here on my channel is just my opinion. Me talking out of my butt. Yeah. Let's go ahead and keep on going here. So... Um, it looks like it's got the, the same 20, 20 inch rims, but I assume this will be changed. But this is just, like I said, somebody else taking what Honda has put out there and just kind of combining it together. And kind of, you can kind of see if you put the pieces together what the car will actually look like. But Honda can completely flip the script on us and just change everything, which is always nice and a good thing. Um, so this is that 2 liter turbo. And this is the backside of the Type R. <clears throat> I feel like, um, yeah. So I can dig it. I can dig it. It's going to have to grow on me, though. I feel like there's something missing on the backside of the Type R. But I guess they made a little bit of a diffuser here on the bottom side. And for me, I've always liked cars that sit right on the tires. Like, I love this stance of the vehicle. It's so nice and aggressive. I love it. I like this. But I don't understand why people put their car all the way down. I don't like that. I feel like it's going to scrape every single time. <sighs> so these are just more interior shots of the 2022. So let's look over here. So this is another, um, I think it's called X-Tom design that he put together for us here. So that looks pretty damn good. Um, yeah. And then here is the rear. He kind of went a different... I actually like this one more. I'm not a fan of that long stripe of uh, the lights. But that's what the hatchback is going to look like. But I like this one right here. I like the rear of this. Even though it looks like an Audi from that taillights. And then they took a little bit more inspiration from the um, 2021 Type Part 2 with the side skirts. And then the back side. It kind of looks like... Yeah. The only difference here, I think... Um, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of completely forgot, but this is like all this area right here. This is from the 2021 Civic, um, type R, not even 21. This is more like a 2020 and below. So 2020 to 2017 type R, the backside right here. So maybe you can get rid of this side right here. Cause we don't know what this is going to look like. That's why I kind of like this one better because it, it took the 20, 22 Civic and then kind of add all this stuff into it and that looks pretty boss. That looks good. The difference the difference is because um, Just the, the lights are a little bit different, but this is just somebody's interpretation of what the 2022 type R is going to look like But we don't know until Honda officially shows us what it's going to look like Until then hey, we can dream and these guys have done a very fantastic job and I love what they're able to create. I wish I was this talented to create something like that, but I'm not. But I'm just talking about it, and I hope you guys are staying entertaining enough for you guys. Thank you very much for your support of late and watching the videos. Really appreciate that. I don't know. I can't say it enough. I have to say it every single video because without you guys, there is no me. That's facts. So let me know in the comments below which one do you think looks better. In my opinion, I like the rear of this one so let's take that rear and put it on here and this is just a different color as well and yeah this is just 
2017 to 2020, so there's nothing here. <clears throat> I like that color though. But I like that rear. I like the front of it. Yeah, man. Looks dope. Like, just like right here. That's a 2020. <laughs> I think it looks more. Ugh, I don't know. Whatever. It looks good. I like it. So I will leave the links in the description for you guys to go check it out yourself. And um, yeah, and, and just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, whether you like the new interpretation of the Type Rs or you don't like it. Um, I, for one, kind of like it, but the difference is I just want different rims. I want to see what Honda is going to create us, you know, or give us different rims and what kind of features and all that stuff that's going to be... Um, included with the car oh one thing that i forgot to mention like this area right here it's going to be a fog light there's going to be a fog light going over here either it's going to take up this space right here this empty spot or it's going to be right in here there's going to be fog lights guaranteed they always put fog lights unless the industry has been trying to stay clear of fog lights i don't, I don't know why but anyway this is somewhat unbiased and as always if you like it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you made it this far i really appreciate the love and you have yourself a very lovely lovely sunday evening